Hey guys, Mark Latham, Firehouse Roofing. Uh, as y'all heard, this is gonna be our uh, first series for our What's Under Your Roof videos. Uh, we're gonna be going around the communities and uh, highlighting uh, small businesses around the area to help them out and help our community. So we're here today with Retrocade. We're gonna go ahead and uh, meet Danny and uh, let's see what he's got going on in here. Danny, I've heard a lot about this place, uh, a lot of good things, so I wanted to come over and check it out, talk with you, see what all you got going on here. Well, great, yeah, uh, Retro Cage, just a family-oriented uh, business, so we can come in, have a few drinks, and play some games, and eat some food. Cool. So, how long, when did y'all open up? This we opened up June the 12th of okay. uh, 2020. Alright, so have you always been in the video games? And this type of uh, pretty much all my life yeah we uh, I've always gone to arcades as a kid and then even uh, into adulthood and, and uh, always been a part of my life yeah. sure that's good man it's awesome awesome place looks good thank you we're, are y'all uh, staying fairly busy uh, we're busier on the weekends of course uh, we'd love to be uh, busier during the week but, uh, we understand during the pandemic it's been kind of difficult to get people in here and, and play have y'all seen an impact due to the oh, virus? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Well, it seems, it seems like there's quite a few people wandering around here now, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's getting better. All right, so out of all the games in here, the yeah, what do you think is the most popular one? Uh, I think uh, competition games, uh, Guitar Hero, Basketball, those are the two games that are usually being played at closing time. Okay. Do y'all have a lot of adults come in? Sure. Yeah, uh, a lot of families during the during the day, and then after 9 p.m. we see a, a little bit different crowd, a more adult crowd. And y'all y'all also serve lunch, dinner. Uh, we uh, our kitchen's open till 10 p.m. We serve a wide variety of hamburgers, hot dogs, quesadillas, and other stuff. And then we have about a hundred different uh, beer and wine selections, wow. along with non-alcoholic selections. So what's the uh, plans moving forward in the future? Have you thought about anything else you're going to add to the place? Or? Uh, we're Right now we're working on about 10 other games that we have in the warehouse uh, that we'll be uh, bringing in at some point in the near future. And just looking to increase the uh, amount of pinballs that we have and uh, a few other games as well. So Danny, if I just want to stop in and play or bring my family, what is the... Cost. Do I need to bring a sack for a quarter? Uh, no, no quarters are needed. It's ten dollars uh, even at the door uh, per person, and they get you in for the whole day with a wristband. You can come and go as you like. All the games are set to free play, so you just come in and start start playing. Oh wow! Cool. So nothing. No need any quarters. No this. quarters. <laughs> That's good to know. Well, Danny, I really appreciate your time and telling us about what you guys do here and why you started it. Uh, I'm ready to play some games. Well, let's do it. All right. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we really appreciate you all taking the time to come up here and support Retrocade and help these guys out. Um, we've bought 15 30-day passes to give to you guys, so we're going to give these away. Uh, and all you got to do is like our video, uh, leave a comment, and share the link. And then uh, you're entered and we will select them at the end of the week and we'll announce the winners and you can come up here to Retrocade and collect your card. Uh, we, again, really appreciate it. Follow us uh, in the upcoming weeks and stuff. We're going to do this with other local businesses and uh, it's all about what's under your roof. Thanks a lot.